the stock is pairing its decline. We're now down six tenths of a percent. We had been down significantly more. What is the story? A return to growth overall or China is a problem? Yeah, I mean, Ed, the streets reading through this is iPhone growth's coming back. Next quarter is essentially massively conservative guidance. And now you have AI coming into the Apple story. So, so no one's selling Apple heading into that narrative. And in my opinion, this is the start of the renaissance of growth for Apple. Conservative guidance, though? I mean, go back. Like, like what we hang on are the words of Luca Maestri, basically. He said that that December quarter would be essentially flat. We ended up with slight growth overall and weakness in China. You know, we're not talking about, like, a big rebound here, Dan. We're talking about them staying out of five consecutive quarters of, of, of growth declines. If there is growth, where does it come from? Well, our view is... you. You don't need to have hyper growth in iPhones. Go to mid single digit iPhone growth is really what you need. Services is the key to valuation, 1.5 to 1.6 trillion. And then look at their active installables. I mean, they just gave the update, 2.2 billion. So you now have that, that golden install base, and now you're selling AI into that. That's a narrative that, that in my opinion, investors are just going to continue to sit here and buy up the dips. When you're looking at the overall strength of new products, Dan, there has been so much hand-wringing about the iPhone 15. Then today, we're going to talk about it a lot in a moment, the Vision Pro goes on sale. How much is that in any way going to be a catalyst for liking Apple's tech? Because it was under pressure when we started to think about, well, the fact that the overall watch was pulled and we questioned, ultimately, the underlying technology of Apple. Look, I think, but again, again, and Apple continues to get counted out. I mean, you know, Germer will talk more about in the Vision Pro, but originally we had 300,000 units for Vision Pro. Now we think for the year it's 600,000. And, and two years from now, I think this is a sub-1,500 hour device that's going to look like sunglasses. And it just goes back to the form factor and why you own Apple here. Some of the parts, I believe a year from now, it's a $4 trillion mark cap. Okay, so give us that catalyst? Give us what, is it a slow grind, a slow belief, a commitment of investors, or is there something that snaps down that makes us rebuy and decide to drive the stock back to a four trillion? Well, I think it's the AI app store. We believe starts to get talked about at WWDC uh, in June. And then iPhone 16, as well as iPhone 17, they're going to have more AI technology, generative AI driven into that. And then you look at that install base, 2.2 billion. That was 100 million more than we were expecting. This is the start of a renaissance of growth. It's my view of where Meta was 18 months ago. The street did not realize it at the time. I think 18 months from now, we look back at this as a seminal moment. Dan, I, I want to go back to China. I want to understand what's happening. This is what Luca Maestri told us, that Apple's disappointed with the decline in China, but it's a very competitive market. Compare that with what he said in his opening remarks on the call. He cited that Kantar data that Apple occupies four of the top six handset slots in greater China. In the prior quarter, they said this isn't an iPhone problem. This is Mac and iPad where we have not had an, a refresh cycle. Explain the, con the contrast in those two statements. Yeah, look, there's definitely not champagne and roses in Beijing for Apple right now. I mean, they're clearly going through headwinds from Huawei to geopolitical. But our view is you have 200 million iPhones in China, and they gained 300 bips of market share the last 18 months. I, but Apple has been here before. They've navigated challenges again and again. So I think when you look at what they've been able to do and the install base, they're basically being cautious. But I think we see growth second half of the year return and we view this as more of them navigating headwinds rather than the start of some structural problem that the bears have been talking about for the last two trillion of market cap upcoming. 